there is some evidence, and I think we all share it, that we do live in a violent society, you know, uh, the, and we've talked about it, the militarization of our police forces and the militarization of the federal bureaucrats, the hundreds of thousands uh, uh, of uh, federal bureaucrats carrying guns. So everything is done by authoritarianism, and, uh, and, and this, this, this is real. And then also, there are a lot of killings that are outside of, of school. John Whitehead, who is a friend of ours, we've had him on the show, he runs the Rutherford Institute, and he had a really good piece out on Monday talking about uh, some of the deeper issues dealing with this kind of uh, violence and gun violence, and he talks about really the militarization of our whole society. He talks about um, one example that he points out is that the shooters often dress in military style dress. He also points out that the U.S. military and intelligence agencies have influenced over 1,800 movies and TV shows. They get money from the Pentagon, our tax money, these studios do, and they, put, they paint the Pentagon, they paint war uh, in a positive light. Um, so there's, uh, of course, we don't even need to talk about uh, the, how the military gets involved with all kinds of sporting events. They turn them into military parades. So we have this intense militarization of the society. The police look like they're in, uh, in the army. And so he talks about a more systemic problem that we have. We've become a culture that worships military, violence, invasions, attacks, and it's going to sink into these kids.